Uh, and apparently it was going to be another one of those games that probably would have rocked the world had it actually gotten a chance to become what it was originally intended to. But, you know, we got this, but shit, I mean, I'm still tickled with it. Fuck, nothing? Really? I thought there was something over here. It's been a pretty long time since I played this game, but I played the shit out of it. Why? Because, again, I love this fucking game. Alright, alright. Uh-oh. Ah, it doesn't sound good. Where the hell is he? Is that a... No. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Yeah. You got a page, though. So, you got that going for you, which is nice. Dark Presence wakes up. For a long time, the Dark Presence had been weak, sleeping. Nothing but a half-forgotten nightmare or a shadowy flicker in the corner of an eye in the forest at night. Not real enough to properly exist, and yet too evocative to fade away completely. Now it was waking up. The rider like a fly caught in a spider's web, each jerk and strands that led deep into its lair. It was aware of him now, and it could use him. All he'd need was a little incentive. Ooh. So yeah, with these nightmare pages, which are those ones with the tiny little flame next to them, uh, ooh, hell. We're getting a little more incentive, or, well, not incentive, but knowledge as to what exactly is going on here. Whoop. Hey, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Oh, fuck. That was not my best shit at all. All right. There we go. Got him. Well, he suffered one hit, but hey, that's not bad. Although, I would really like to find some uh, new weapons right now. Pistol's nice, but <laughs> quite frankly, it's not going to cut it. Alright, looks like we got a supply thing here, though. Oh, up. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we go, gotta do it ourselves. Yeah, the, the the game was supposed to be taken in a different direction, but again, I'm perfectly happy with what we got. You know, you hear a lot of times about games that get talked about that never come out, that sound awesome, so, shit. Gotta take them when you can. Some batteries? Cool. We got a shit ton of batteries, which we will need. Uh, what's the safe way out? Here it is. And down. I forget if there's fall damage. Probably. But uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, not that way. This way. Here I come to save the day! Not really. Probably just coming to make less sense of what's going on here, assuredly. But with these nightmare pages, we will get more. Damn it. I had to make my way up some other. Way. We will get more knowledge as to what's going on. So you guys get that, which is nice. Nice. Ooh, ooh. A little bit more. Yes. All right. Anything else here? I'll tell you what, I'll take the high ground. You got 17 goddamn batteries, man. We're doing pretty good. At least I would think we are. Is that a... There's something over there. We're gonna get it, actually. It looks like it's just a light to turn on, but fuck it. Oh, fuck! Oh, hell. Fuck! Ooh! Yeah! Back off! 
Back off! Okay. That's one. Oh! Oh, we got jukes! We got jukes! Oh, fuck. We got... Shit, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. Shit, that happened a lot quicker than I was gonna think. Let me try that one more time. But not fuck this up. Ooh, wait a minute. Hello? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator um, somewhere at the logging site. Gotcha, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> that would have been pretty sad otherwise. Turning on this generator without a fucking clue as to what was that you gonna do. Hi there. There he is. Oh. Ow! Fucker. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Just you. There we go. That should do it. I'm well, a first death, but hey, I was gonna end up getting smacked one way or another. At some point. There we go. Oh, well, it was gonna show me what to do anyway. Okay. But before we go in there, can I go in this? Ooh, can. Hot oh, damn. Oh yeah, wake attacked by birds. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded <laughs> like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. But see, what else would these pages do is, you know, just like they're saying, oh, is that a gun? Oh, shotgun, yes. Although, it's only got two shots, so we're going to save that. Um, they give you a good indication of usually what's coming up um, and how to deal with it, typically, too. So, it's a good reason, too, to pick up the pages. Uh, so, you know, you figure out what's going on. Uh, besides that, you also... Uh, get some story too. All right, let's move you. Guess we're gonna bring it right there. I suppose. Yeah. Can't think of anywhere else to put the goddamn thing. All right, Alan, come on. So that I did this right. Oh, you. Du, 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 du. Easy as that. Good job, Alan. Leave me on that. Shotgun ammo. Hot damn. Hello? Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but... I wish. And around. Take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. You listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat. It's Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that 
Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Matt. You have a good night now. All right, yeah, but we'll be doing that too. Listening to as many uh, radios as I can, and all that goodness. Again, I'm pretty sure I've got all those found, so if need be, I can just uh, always. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I, th I think somewhere in the main menu you can listen to them so get that another page wake finds pages at first i kept finding the pages as if it was an accident the book i couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world i began to hunt the pages feverishly for they held the answer to the mystery with it i could save myself with it i could save alice well, that's the hope, right? First, we still gotta find where the hell she is. Nice, you saw. The station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Uh oh. Belly Buster <gasps> is the best with no coat. Uh oh. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I'm seeing shit. Oh, there he is. Damn it, not fast enough. Oh, shit. There's a couple of them. Come on. What you got, buddy? You got shit. All right, let's get this thing before another one, another group shows. All right. Yeah, basically it's just there are these littered throughout to act as safe havens. Pretty sure they stay on. I, I hope they do at least. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I hear them. Yeah. Troublesome thing is, though, there are definitely sections where they'll just keep fucking responding. Ow, you fucker. Nope, cut it out. Oh god, oh god, where do I go? Where do I go? I think I saw a fence. Or not. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Oh, wait, that's light. Oh, that's a page. Fuck it. It's something. Uh, TV in the gas station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly. I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. <laughs> That's good. I go, uh, go this way, go this way. Oh, light, yes. <laughs> I'm safe for the moment. Right, I think 20 batteries is the max that we can have on ourselves at any time. Right, that was a... yeah. Fuck it. Fuck, maybe not. Oh uh, god, this way. Here it is. Ooh, more flare gun ammo. Alright. Works for me. 
Alright then, you crazy bastard. Let's fucking do this. Alright. Caution, crazy fucks ahead in the forest. Right. Yeah, and it seemed... Definitely kind of got that Silent Hill feel to it a bit. Oh. Shit. Oh shit, that's a few of them. Boom! I hope that was a good use of it. If not, then oh well. That's a page, I want a page. Give me the page, give me the page. Uh, Wake lies to the sheriff. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Alright, so we talked to the cops, but apparently the cops aren't quite useful as they never tend to be in games. Yes, more shotgun ammo. Can't do anything for our battery. More shotgun ammo. Oh, okay, so we'll use this TV. Go ahead, sit back and relax a little bit. It's going to play a short thing very akin to the Twilight Zone. Uh, so sit back and relax for a moment. I think it does. Yeah. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton. Einstein. Sagan. Princes among men. But the price of such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Spooky. Tonight's episode. A quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Is he now? I love this detail. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Multiverse. See, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality. <laughs> Splat. For Dr. Colvin, filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses, he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs.